Hi guys, thank you very much. You're welcome to my YouTube channel again. Okay. Today, let us look at something briefly. Uh, how we can derive the relationship that is leading the velocity and displacement for the body executing simple harmonic motion. Uh, suppose V is the velocity of a body of a body executing simple harmonic motion and x is its displacement from the fixed point from the fixed point v being the velocity of the body that executes in harmonic motion and x is its displacement from the fixed point. Therefore, we will have that acceleration A of that body is gone by saying dv dt. It is true that acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. I want to bring in or combine acceleration velocity and displacement all together. This I'm going to use the shape. So from A equal to dv out of the x times the x out of the t. Yes, good. When I do this, I'll still have acceleration as a dv dt because this the x and the x will appear to cancel and I'll still have the dv what? But I've done this so that I can bring in the aspect of displacement into our equation. So this implies that our A is actually B out of the X times the X out of the T. But there is something already familiar. The X the T is actually the rate of change of displacement, which is velocity. So we will say but the x out of the t is actually b, which is velocity. So we are going to replace it here, and therefore we we'll have that acceleration is equal to, I'll start with b itself, will be b, the b out of the x. When I reach this way, I am going to multiply both sides by the x. Uh, I'll have this in mind that above a, the x will be equal to b, db. So, that is what we have. And at this point, we are going to apply the integral on both sides of that way. So that we can remove the small changes of x and v. So, applying integral on both sides of the equation, we have Shows us that the acceleration 
is always directed back towards the fixed point. So, therefore, on replacing it here, I will have the integration of negative omega squared x. The x I've replaced for a will be equal to integral of b dp. So, I can now carry out my integration. This is a constant, I can bring it out. So, therefore, I will have negative omega squared integral of x, the x is equal to integral b dp. So this becomes negative omega square. When I integrate x, increase this power by 1, it becomes x squared. I divide by the new power, which is 2, which is going to give me, when I integrate b, I will have this b square out of 2 plus c. C is, I can call this is equation 1, where C is a bit constant of integration. The C we have here is just an arbitrary constant of integration. It is always put when our integrals do not have the limits. So we are going to solve for C for that arbitrary constant of integration because we don't want it to appear in our final expression by bringing in some boundary conditions. Um, it is true that at maximum displacement, at maximum displacement, x is equal to a. The displacement x is equal to a at maximum displacement. x is equal to a, which is average. Then, in this case, v is actually 0. At maximum displacement, the velocity of a body that executes simple morning motion is actually 0. Because the body, as it swings, actually comes momentarily to rest at the maximum point before it comes back. So that's why we say, at maximum displacement, v is equal to 0. That is the boundary condition that we are going to apply. So we are going to replace from x equal to a and b equal to 0 back here. So therefore, equation 1 becomes, we will have negative omega square times x is a. I will have a square out of 2 will be equal to b squared out of 2 or oh, my b is 0 ok, so now this is 0 plus c my b is 0, replace like that so therefore the actual sense of that is 0 and the c c alone is equal to negative omega squared a squared out of 2 that is what is the part of the value of c so Replacing for C into equation 1, which allows negative omega squared, x squared out of 2, to be equal to b squared out of 2, then plus the value of C, our C is negative omega squared, a squared out of 2. Like that. I can choose to divide those two by negative or I leave it like that. So if I choose to have that no let me leave it. So let us make uh, collect the line terms. I can bring this together and leave the one which has the most on one side. So now this squared out of two becomes uh, omega square x squared out of two. Um, bringing it this way, this one has a negative, then plus omega squared a squared out of 2. So, in this case, I will have b squared out of 2 b equal to how we start with this. I will have this is omega squared a squared out of 2 minus omega squared 
x squared out of 2. So here I'm going to first factorize. Actually, here you can see the denominator 2, 2, 2 will cancel themselves. And so this implies that our b squared still becomes omega squared, a squared minus omega squared, x squared. And if I factorize out the common factor, I'll have b squared to be equal to omega squared, open bracket, a squared minus x squared. And to get only b, I'll have b would be equal to a root of omega squared, of course, open bracket, a squared minus x squared. And this becomes, I have taken the square root of both sides. The square root of b actually remains with b. So still I can get the square root of this, and then b becomes plus or minus omega uh, root of a squared minus x squared. This becomes, this becomes the relationship that ends the velocity and the displacement of a particle or a body that executes in both harmonic motion. A is the maximum displacement of the particle from the fixed point. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining me.